All right, well, I figure we're long overdue for an update on the solar. Um, so when I started out out here, I just had a 100 watt solar from Harbor Freight. I got the battery, the charge controller, absolutely everything from Harbor Freight. Um, and now all of that's gone. I still have the system, uh, just use it for other things. Um, but now I have 600 watts of HQST solar panels. I have two 12 volt, um, 206 amp hour SOK batteries. Um, I believe it's an, it's an HQST charge controller and then a pure sign, uh, wave inverter, um, 12 volt to 110. Um, and all, all together, I think the system cost me about, the most expensive part was the batteries running me like, uh, it was well over a grand, uh, but so probably around 2,200 bucks for absolutely everything. Um, and currently that is powering lights and they're plenty bright enough. There's two of them in here. Um, they're dimmable and can change the brightness on them. Um, powers a ceiling fan and also powers a box fan, just a normal 110 box fan. Um, I charge uh, DeWalt Milwaukee batteries uh, off of it, no problem. Um, and I also have a fridge that runs 24 seven off of it. And I also even have a TV here. You can watch the movies. I don't really watch a whole lot of TV, but have it if you want it. Um, but yeah, pre pretty cheap system altogether. Seeing as how, like, I mean, I, I no longer need power. Um, this It's just, it, it's, it's more than adequate. I have not even gotten my batteries below, like, 90% charge. And that's with, like, three, four days of storms and no sun. So, um... Uh, so yeah, I'll walk you around and I'll, I'll show you my, my components and all and, and how it all functions. It's all super simple. So yeah, here you go. All right. So these are the lights here. They're just meant for RVs. Both the lights are 12 volt. Ceiling fan, 12 volt. Amazon, again, meant for an RV. It does all right. I would not probably recommend it. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it did all right. But um. Uh, Box fans, they do freaking awesome. They move a lot of air. You can stick them right in the windows. They do good. Um, TV, I even got a Nintendo Switch. Again, never really gets used, but have it if you want it. And uh, this is where all my wires come in. I'm not an electrician. I don't know what I'm really doing. Um, <laughs> I just do it. So, um, but yeah, just super simple stuff here. I ain't no expert. Um, Now you can see my solar panels over there on my little solar array. Again, just some makeshift stuff and head headlaying around the property. And wires are just kind of hanging there. Um, but they run down in here and plug into the base of this. This is the charge controller. And it's almost always just sitting there on float. Like I said, I, I hardly ever use all my power or use enough to even like get the batteries going and ch charging really uh I maybe charge for an hour or two and then they'll be topped off um and down below that i don't use any of these ports uh for the electrical that's on the charge controller um i was told it was better to run a fuse box directly off of your battery so that's what i did so everything inside is ran off of this fuse box here and then it goes in that piece of conduit right there um so all the power from the solar comes in to the charge controller then charges these two batteries right here just ignore these these are my older lead acid ones um these are the soks um and then that fuse box is wired directly off the battery and the inverter is also uh, wired directly off the battery. Um, so this is where I pull any 110 from. So this is where I power my box fan, my refrigerator is where I charge my batteries. 
Um, nice and simple. Now, if I had to have AC, I'd, I might have to have some more power, or I wouldn't be able to power my AC for very long. But getting a good airflow and having plenty of shade on your house, it's, it does a pretty good job at staying cool around here. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for the solar. Um, a little better view, kind of, without the screen porch in the way. And let me show you the refrigerator. This is a just a normal fridge from, uh, I think we got it from Lowe's. A Hisense 110 volt fridge with a freezer. Um, the trick with this is getting one that is not uh, frost free. You know, some of them, they, uh, they won't freeze over, you know, and those ones use more electricity. Um, so you get one that just kind of, you know, so you have to scrape the ice every now and then, but that's the worst of it. Um, but yeah, but that is it for the, the solar. That's really all I power off of it. Um, besides things I just randomly plug in, which I can do pretty fruitfully. Um, but yeah, that's it. Pretty, pretty simple. Um, and I might be a little high on the price. I think the batteries are probably about 1400 solar panels. You're looking about, no, nah, I was probably right. That's 2200 bucks. But, uh, but I mean, that, that's a little overkill for how s simple my needs are. But, uh, I really like to be able to power my tools and stuff like that. And everything runs off of batteries. So, uh, when that's your only power source, why not invest some into it and get an adequate system? I started with the Harbor Freight to prove that I wanted to go that route and just to, to see how it worked. And I didn't want to buy too big of a system. So I just figured out what I needed little by little and that's where I'm at right now. So I appreciate you. Um, subscribe, like, whatever, but have a good one guys. Like off the Got chain. your first victory, Murray. <laughs> Murray. Good job. <laughs>